The weird armor and helmet the man is wearing does not come from a galaxy far, far away. It's not true. But is in fact inspired by the samurai. But who are they really? In feudal Japan, the samurai were the warrior class of the nobility. By serving the shoguns and daimyos, the military governors and feudal lords who reigned the country, samurai themselves had the status of aristocrats. Even though samurai used a range of firearms, the traditional weapons of their rank were the daisho, the two swords, a long katana blade and a shorter wakizashi sword. Bushido, the way of the samurai. Samurai were said to have followed Bushido, a strict code of moral values, which was derived out of the religious doctrine of Neo-Confucianism and Zen Buddhism. It can be compared to the concept of chivalry of European knights and is defined by seven virtues, righteousness, courage, benevolence, respect, sincerity, honor, loyalty. It was a code of honor that guided these warriors every breath. Historians report, however, that Bushido has to be seen more as a theory than something which was applied to practice. In the reality of battle, many samurai did in fact play dirtier than we are led to believe. Nonetheless, samurai were subject to strict obedience to their master, the Shogun. The Imperial War Machine has been unleashed. All who stand in the way of our divine destiny will be swept away when a master died or when they were captured by enemies, samurai were supposed to commit seppuku, a ritual suicide by disembowelment. The samurai in question had to plunge a traditional tanto blade into his abdomen and move the blade from left to right in a slicing motion. Seppuku was also used as a form of capital punishment, where the samurai suicide became part of an elaborate ceremony which was performed in front of spectators. If a samurai refused to commit seppuku, or if he got fired by his master, he became a ronin. During the Edo period between the 17th and the 19th century, the number of such ronins increased dramatically. In order to make a living, they were forced to take on outlaw activities. Many of them became thieves or hired muscle for gangs, operating gambling rings, brothels, and protection rackets. Some believe that Ronin were the founding fathers of the Yakuza, the infamous Japanese mob. Dude, that is so cool. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> 